Next one coming in the in the in our view is a 99-82 lot 32 9982. She would be a, a direct help them all daughter. So she's a half Yorkshire female and her mother would be the open range 11984. That's a guilt that the Cosby's raised uh, showed down here at Grimes County and uh, she would have been the grand champion uh, market hog there a couple, like four years ago. And uh, open range would have been a half Hampshire female. So there's a little Hampshire splashing in this female's pedigree on the bottom side. And then uh, obviously she's a half Yorkshire female on the top side. So this is what a productive female is supposed to look like, guys. She, uh, she's a skinny one. Uh, she likes to eat. She's very productive. But, um, but this one uh, is, uh, we can see that she just walked completely off, off stage. But that's the kind that uh, has the kind of range of motion and flexibility to get off track in a real big hurry. But anyway, uh, the pedigree behind this guy is, is really elite. Um, another one that I have a tremendous amount of faith. If a guy would want to build around this female for the long haul, he can sure get that done. Um, and then we've got her bred to a boar I call Trix. Uh, Trix would be a tricked out son that we actually uh, offered in a, and sold in the, uh, the uh, NSR draft last week. Uh, he would have been the, the 93.7 boar that brought $8,000. But uh, this is a really nice mating on this female, one that can uh, is going to make some belted babies and make some elite ones at that. I see one like this. Uh, first thing I always say is that that's, that looks like a worker. It's not the first one that grabs your eye because they're usually not in quite the condition because they've, they're they capable of doing such a job. And she looks like she would be an absolute bona fide worker. Uh, really built good, effortless in her mobility, reach and go, uh, uh, able to get out and get after it. Uh, you put just a dab of fluff on this one and take a picture of it and you'll, you'll, you'll be amazed at how good this one's going to look because she's really built for speed. This one here is just excellent in her, in, uh, in her lines as far as being able to put everything together in the right soundness and balance and, and proportions with that kind of a look. And then this tricks board that, uh, that's all bred to, again, in the draft, uh, that one there really hit me as one to really crank uh, uh, elite show gilts and, and show mamas uh, for the crossbred industry their length of front and extension bigger rib bigger body bigger hip kind of hogging it with this same kind of soundness and reach those kind won't get you in any kind of trouble uh, they'll keep you uh, on that basis uh, as far as problem free kind of hogs you can spring from any direction you want to with whatever gilts you want to keep a very neat prospect here uh, this one's reach, flex, and mobility is uh, second to none in this offering. I think if we start from just the basics in terms of how they reach, how they go, their comfort level, and she does that and maintains her hip and spine just absolutely incredibly. I mean, just dead level. Uh, incredibly extended up front, and I do love the mating. I got to watch that Trix board grow up. Uh, a very, very powerful, very heavy structured one that's still good in terms of its feet and legs. I, I can't wait to see what these guys keep in touch with me, get my phone number. I want to see the litter when they're born.